Hello everyone, I'm glad to see you all on my educational channel and today we are going to read a fairy tale about three pigs. But it is not classic fairy tale as you know, it's a little bit changed by James Marshall. This version and the illustration, yeah, retold and illustrated by Caldecott Hanna Wiener James Marshall. Children will know and love the family characters through big brothers and one huffing puffing wolf, and they will giggle over the funny new dialogue and cartoon-like illustration, which put a fresh modern twist on the classic theme. So, are you ready? Ready, steady, go. Okay, <laughs> let's start. The three little pigs. Oh. Yeah. Their mom. Okay, let's start with it. Once upon a time, and also, Sun has three little pigs out into the world to seek their fortune. Now be sure to write, she said, and remember that I love you. Mm -hmm. Let me see. The first little pig met a man with a load of straw. I know, said the little pig, I'll buy your straw and build a house. That's not a good idea, said the man. Mind your own business, thank you, said the little pig. And he bought the straw and set about building a house. It took him no time at all. Yeah, you see? The building out of straw yeah okay very soon a lean and hungry wolf happened by pig was just about his favorite food in the world so he knocked on the door and said a little pig a little pig let me come in to which the little pig replied no no not by the hair of my chinny chin chin This annoyed the wolf to no end, and he said, Then I will huff, and I will puff, and I'll blow your house in. Go right ahead, said the little pig. So the wolf huffed, and he puffed, and he blew the house in. You see what happened? Oh, my God. The house was destroyed by the wolf. And he gobbled up the little pig.
the second little pig met a man. Yeah, second little pig met a man with a lot of sticks. I've got it, said the little pig. I'll buy those sticks. I'll build a house. I'd think, I'd think twice about that, said the man. The man with sticks, yeah. Oh, poor, said the little pig. Oh, what would you know? And he bought the sticks and went to work building a house. Very pretty, he said. Not sooner had the little pig settled into his pretty house than the wool happened by. He was still hungry and he said, A little pig, a little pig, let me come in. To which the little pig replied, No, no, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. His house made of sticks. The wolf didn't care for that at all, and he said, I'll huff and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house in. Ha ha ha, said the little pig. So the wolf huffed and he puffed and he blew the house in. You see what happened with his house? Now the sad little pig met a man. Yeah, the sad little pig met a man with a load of bricks. These bricks will make a fine, steady house, said the man. Capital idea, my good fellow, said the little pig. Yeah, and he is building his house out of bricks yeah okay so he bought the bricks and set about building a house it took him quite a bit of time but it was well worth it nice and solid says the little pig nice and solid But no sooner had the little pig moved in than he noticed the wolf laughing about, uh, sorry, lottering about. And the wolf, who was still hungry, said, little pig, little pig, let me come in. To which the little pig replied, no, no, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. See what a beautiful and a strong house had the set pig. Like a castle. Hmm? Well, the wolf had had that before, and he said, then I will huff and I will puff, and I'll blow your house in. Oh, don't do that, said the little pig. But the wolf huffed 
and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed until he was quite blue in the face. The house stood firm. I'll try another approach, muttered the wolf. And he put on his most dazzling smile. Little pig, I was only teasing, he said. By the way, I hear tell that Farmer Jones has the most scrumptious tanips. Shall we go pick a few? Oh, I'm much too busy now, said the little pig. Oh, what about tomorrow morning? Excellent, said the wolf. I'll come for you at six. The next morning, the little pig got up at five, hurried off to Farmer John's standing field, picked a basketful of scrumptious turnips, and dashed back home. When the wolf arrived at six, the turnips were already boiling in the pot. Sorry. I couldn't wait, said the little pig. The wolf tried not to show his dis displeasure. I'm done, he said. By the way, there is a lovely apple tree down in Merry Meadow. Shall we go help ourselves to a few apples? I must cook my turnips, said the little pig. Uh, let's meet there tomorrow morning. Splendid, said the wolf. Shall we say at five? The next morning, the little pig was up at four and went off for the apples. It took longer than he'd expected to reach Merry Meadow. And while busy gathering apples in the highest tree, he saw the wolf approaching. Do try one of these, he called down, throwing an apple as far as he could. When the wolf chased after the apple, the little pig sh shimmed down the tree and made it safely home. The next day, the wolf came again. Really, he was quite put out. There is a fair today on Hawk Hill, he said. Would you care to go? Why don't we meet there, said the little pig. Would three o'clock suit you? Colossal, said the wolf. Three it is. Just to make sure he would be there at two. At one in the afternoon, the little pig went to, to the fair and had a fine time. So fine that he lost track of the hour. Suddenly, out of the corner of his eye, he saw the wolf coming up the hill. Without a minute to spare, the little pig jumped inside an empty butter chain and rolled down the hill toward the wolf. You see? Rolled down. Yeah, here is the set pick and roll down. Well, 
the wolf was so scared. He ran all the way home. That evening, the wolf went to the little pig's house and told him how frightened he'd been by a great round thing that came down the hill. Frighten you, did I? said the little pig. That great round thing was a butter chan, and I was inside. This was simply too much for the wolf to stand. I'll be nice long enough, he cried. I'm going to eat you up right now. And he climbed onto the roof. When the little pig saw this, he put a big iron pot in the fireplace and quickly stocked the fire. See? Here I come, cried the wolf. Dinner time. Yeah, wolf is going, is going to go into the chimney, yeah. <laughs> oh. You can say that again, said the little pig. And he cooked the mean old wolf and gobbled him up. Hey, finish. So, what do you think about this new version of the fairy tale? Do you like the classic one or? The new version of this fairy tale. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you like this new version, and uh, of course, if you like this new version, put a like and subscribe if you want to catch up with new interesting video. Bye bye for now. See you later.